Hi, welcome to ResRequest Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at moving around in ResRequest. Let's look how easy it is to access the system and move through the different functionality. ResRequest is compatible with all browser systems, so choose yours, enter your website address, enter your username as indicated now and password log in and you'll end up on your landing page now this is a typical landing page which can be changed per user or per environment if you wanted to change that and land somewhere else simply move along the line indicated now to preferences click on my preferences and from this drop down under user on the right hand side click on the search button the available landing pages for you will be indicated there you can select one and the next time that you sign on to ResRequest you'll go directly to your landing page now the ResRequest system is made up out of a fixed or static area as indicated now the first three lines that's your fixed area the second indication now as shown is your dynamic area and based on where you're working in the system this information displayed will change let's now have a look at the areas indicated in the fixed area your banner now this banner will tell you which system you've signed on to. In our case, we have a South African flag with a prefix of WB, meaning we have signed on to the web South African server. Had there been a USA flag and a prefix of WA, we would have been on the web United States server. There are, of course, servers at a reservations office and can also have at properties. Now, these different servers exchange information at regular intervals, which can be automated and also done manually. Now, to see when those were happening and when the data transfers occurred, one can simply click on the icon as indicated now. That will give you a list showing when the data transfers occurred. Of all these servers, you normally need one as set as editing capabilities and the editing ability on a server is indicated through the green color in the second icon in the banner, which allows users signed on to that server to edit information in your system. Let's now have a look at the second line in the fixed areas modules. Here we have taken different functionality and grouped it under, for example, reservations, property, financials, contacts module, etc. Now the third of the fixed areas as indicated above is likened to an office toolbar, a Windows office toolbar which has the normal functionality on for the first half of that line. Of particular interest to us is the second half. Let's examine that a little bit closer quickly now. Now the items as indicated in the toolbar now are specific to ResRequest to assist the users to move around quickly and access different functionality. Let's look at them individually. When you're working in the system, you will be working on perhaps a calendar perhaps a report and perhaps a reservation you might have even gone to a contact now as you work in the system and you access either calendar report or reservation it becomes your last reservation so when you're working in the system elsewhere and you need to go back to a calendar simply click on any of these areas as indicated now while working in ResRequest you may want to open an internet window simply click on this icon you may then 
search for the information via the web. Once found, you can then copy and paste that information back into your reservation or area that you're operating in now. Another very useful icon in the toolbar is opening another res request window. You may find yourself wanting to check something but not wanting to leave where you are in res request at that point in time. Simply click on this screen and it will open another res request window for you to move around, access different information and then simply close that window again and you'll be back where you were initially signed on. When moving around in res request on different pages you will see different buttons maybe question marks, maybe search magnifying glasses. Now the information is contained by simply hovering on that and we'll see a descriptor of the page that you're working in. Alternatively, in this case we have a tab button for an agent. Click on agent and you'll go and search your database for the different agents that you may select to build a reservation, for example. If you're working with extended monitors, using the second res request screen could be quite useful. Let's look at that quickly. Open another res request window. We'll resize that. And that particular one will go down to the occupancy calendar. And now we can see the two different calendars displayed by using a second window. We hope you found this short tutorial on moving around, signing on and navigating in Res Request useful. Be sure to watch our other tutorials on more detailed functionality.